Oh, well, hello there, beautiful listener. Aren't we looking good today? During the intro, John and I start talking about MMOs, which means that if you don't want a long intro, you can go ahead and skip the first 18 minutes. Enjoy. I don't know what it was. He's walking upright like a man. Sightings in and around Vermont. Bigfoot sightings across New England have been reported. Red glowing eyes. About seven feet tall. Red eyes, big old fang claws coming out through. Three inches long, you know, just sharp as they could be. There has been another UFO sighting flying over the Royal Botanic Gardens. There are 500 UFO sightings in the world every month. The truth is out there. Three, two, one. Ah. Did you just hurt yourself? I clapped so hard I hurt myself. There's... <laughs> Uh, we're we're on 87 episodes and, and we're still learning how to clap. <laughs> well, in fairness, I'm operating on like three to four hours of sleep, so... We're going to get delirious, John. Uh, yeah, this is... It's a shame I wasn't covering the dinosaur, is all I can say. It's a sh- <laughs> um, Because my anger filters would have been gone, basically. Yeah. I, I find it funny. I have a problem with accessing anger for everything but dinosaur cryptids. That's, That's because my you're like big into you like the dinos. You like the dinosaurs. There's a reason why Dinobot is your favorite transformer. Shut up. Well, god damn it. Like, he's not my favorite transformer, but I love him. He's right? good. Like, like he's top ten. He's top like ten. The There's no doubt about whose that. Name I'm drawing a blank on. Why am Inferno. I drawing a blank? Inf- yes, because he's a fire ant. Infer- that makes do sense. You, do you want to? Do you want to lay down some more vague names for Transformers and see if I can figure out who the fuck it is? Because I'm a horrible human. There's, we can. There. Well, see, because I know you're gonna know way more than I do. So I'm gonna have to like, like scrape R- the 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 bottom of the there. Okay, there's a fox, but it can fly. Fox. There's or a no wolf. Fox There's a wolf, but it can fly. A wolf. Am I am I making up a trans? It's a, a one of the like chimeras. Chimera. Oh, you're talking about oh, you're talking about Silverbolt. Yeah, Silverbolt. Yeah, he's right, a that's eagle. a wolf, right? He's a wolf eagle. He's a wolf eagle. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's not just a wolf. So, like, I'm thinking. Oh, pure oh. wolf. I'm thinking of pure wolf transformers. So my brain's see. My thing is, I was going to all the things that you could have been mislabeling. Oh, very I smart. Went to Cheetor. You, you were anticipating. I Brandon. I was so I was um, I was I was yeah yeah I was, I was using pre-existing knowledge of your behaviors and your your thought patterns. Yeah. Um. So. You see, the thing is, sometimes when you optimize for that, you miss cycles. So, like, you do work that doesn't need to be done. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Remember back in, like, college when uh, we would drive to the city? Not the city, but our city. Um, yes. And you would start a song on my zune or i miss zune or my phone um and i would have to guess what song it was oh yeah and i would like get it within like five seconds back in the day you'd just rain man it uh i miss those days they were like pick a days you'd pick weird ones too and i'd always get it and i don't know how i got it oh because it scrolled to just the obscure stuff and then i don't know you just know it you would just know it. I miss that car. I miss I miss that car too. <laughs> I miss I miss that car. I miss the Honda. The Hyundai that I have now, I hate. Which um this is reminding me of the fact that uh a listener was like, I cringe every time you guys mention anything like any personal details. And I'm like <laughs> Because because you could very e- like at this point, if you can't make where we are, like you're just not paying enough attention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you're paying attention to the the details that really matter. 
I mean, if you're trying to find us, that's the details that really Oh, yeah, matter. you could find us. If someone needed to find us, they could find us. I'm pretty sure that there's my, like... I'm not going to say it now because I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to freely offer that particular detail. <laughs> <laughs> I cut myself off in the middle of it. Um... Jeez. So I, uh, I've i been trying to distract myself from work that I have to do in my free time. Um, and uh, I played through Pokemon Red. Or rather, I played through a ROM hack of Pokemon Blue that put the green sprites into the game and made it so you could catch all the Pokemon in the game. I saw that post. I caught all 151 of the original Pokemon. How long did that take? Uh, the in-game timer says 80 hours, but that's not true because I was playing it on, like, 2x speed the whole time. Because here's Uh, a fact, here's a fact about Pokemon Red and Blue. They are slow games. They're so slow. That's why when I saw that, I was like, how long were you playing? Yeah, I was, I was playing with, um, an emulator with speed, like, speed ups on. Okay. Because, like... I wasn't about to play that game, and, um, yeah. So, fun story, though. Uh, after I caught Mew and did some endgame content that the game added, my mm. Pokedex disappeared. Oh. Fun. So, after I took that screenshot, my Pokedex fully disappeared. That's <laughs> good thing you took that screenshot when you yeah. did. Uh, yeah, so even even though the game was, like, a bug fix for Pokemon... Uh, it still has bugs, it turns out. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so yeah, that, that's been my life. There's, I've been playing the RuneScape again. I know, I know, you were telling me about the whole driver situation. Yeah. Situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also, I don't understand why the RuneScape is like, your drivers are outdated. And like, it's RuneScape. Why? Uh, Well, because that, that version of RuneScape. That version of RuneScape was recently made. Yeah. That's not that's not OG like original server RuneScape. That's like Yeah. Different. That's, I like how they streamlined it, because I played RuneScape back when old school RuneScape was regular RuneScape. Yeah, and you were a complete and utter monster. I was a complete and utter monster. I'm yeah. still a monster. They streamlined it though, because in like a few days of playing, I was able to get to uh adamantium uh crafting for mining mm-hmm. and the such because they really streamlined how the mining works so i was like oh damn i'm here already cool you level up pretty quickly what they did was they really streamlined the process of getting your character to max level way fat like they cut out hundreds of hours of playtime by streamlining these processes but what they did do is the game is like maybe so that all of runescape like old school runescape is the center of the map and what they did is they made the map probably like 10 times bigger and made the rest pay pay to access ah uh, got it which i'm just not going to do <laughs> <laughs> well also like remember to um runescape is an old game right like mm-hmm. when did runescape drop like 2002 i want to say that sounds right um so runescape has been around for nearly two decades yeah literally two decades january 4th 2001 um so that game is older than world of warcraft (laughs) by a wide margin um so you have to remember too that like Back in the day, leveling was the game, right? Yeah. The point but, was you grind. That was the yeah. whole point of the whole the game. The whole point of that game was grinding. Um, that doesn't fly anymore in the modern games industry. No. You kind of, like, if you do that, people get mad. Yeah. So um, now... Like, some interesting stuff that, like players behave differently and the cities look differently with how the player actions go because in the grindy times because it's a game where like you could cut wood and Mm -hmm. 
certain things would need better wood and could make fires. So the way you level up your fires so you could cook different things is you just like burn a lot of wood. So entering a city, you used to see just players making lines of fires all the way down a street. Or like just people doing a repetitive action and it just fills an area of the map. It's just like everyone decides that we're going to go here and just burn sh shit or we're going to all go here. And here's where everybody's going to cook fish. And there's just 20 people cooking fish and there's just piles of burnt fish everywhere. None of that's happening at all anymore. Really? They it, Like they cleaned up the landscape where there's nobody just like shit grinding in the open. Oh, that's no fun. That was like half the fun of the game was like how janky it was. Like... Even even by those standards, it was a janky game. Like, like that the, time period. Yeah, the the only time you see grinding is at source nodes. But that's okay. where that's supposed to happen. So if somebody's leveling up their mining, you're just going to see a guy mining a rock forever. But you also no longer see... Here's some shit that most... I don't know, are listeners old like us? So it used to be if someone was... Like, we have was a decent number. Grinding their mining, which is what I'm doing... You would just see someone mining a rock, and it'd be cool if you're a low-level player trying to, like, get shit, because they just start dumping. You'd see somebody mining a rock that's rare, and you can't mine yourself, and they just drop hundreds of the, the, the sources, because they're just trying to get their level higher. That doesn't even happen anymore, because now that you just have a box that fills one inventory slot, and that box is dedicated to holding hundreds of that ore that no longer consumes your inventory, so you don't have to drop it anymore. Ah, uh, that's no fun. Uh, uh, I still, still uh, killing the scorpions as I do. Now you can I, find me if you yeah. know where. If you like to mine, you can find me by the scorpions. Goddamn, Brandon! Like, that's, well, <laughs> now you're giving now now this is the real risk. You're giving away your gaming habits in your servers. You're gonna get you're gonna I get am, uh but you're gonna get mine sniped. Here's the thing. That's not a problem anymore. They fixed it. The node doesn't disappear once someone mines it. Because it used to be, if you were, I was a shitbag, and I'd mine faster than somebody after they already started a rock and then take their thing, and they'd have to sit there for five minutes and wait for the node to respond. Nodes, do person. nodes don't disappear after you get their source. So you can have multiple people mining a single node. And, and it won't fuck people over. Sometimes I forget how much of an asshole you are when it comes oh, to yeah. games. I would. I used to just go to low level areas and just kill all of the monsters, so nobody could do their quest. That's like kill ten of these. I, I'm pro I'm gonna assume that I've read papers at this point that like explicitly reference you in some way, despite it being like anonymized. Like somebody who is like doing a research study on uh, on RuneScape or World of Warcraft, they're just like. And then there's this asshole. Yeah, well, like, there was a whole, like, on old, because you could steal other people's nodes, there would be, for, like, an hour, it'd just be, like, there'd be people mining, having fun, haha, ha, and then me and one other guy, and we just decided we don't like each other, and it's just the two of us racing to a node and trying to mine it before the other guy, <laughs> and the whole point is we're each trying to fuck the other guy over, and that was the whole thing, like, we're trying to just prevent the other person from grinding, and that was the, and we just do it for so long. That's so horrifying. And, like, you'd go into, like, I remember, like, going into mines and, like, you would see people calling out people's names. Just, like, I'm here if you want to, like, node fight. <laughs> oh. So, Brandon. So, we John. Have a, this, this is a podcast about stuff. We can, we just, can we just change the podcast over to, like, I just want to talk about being shitty in, in, in MMOs. <laughs> I, I feel like, Brandon, if, if we change the podcast over to being shitty in MMOs, like, we need to do a different podcast at that point. Yeah, like, li like just like, killing people in the will- Ah, uh, ah, uh, the bad old times. All right, welcome to Cryptopedia, an exploration of the myths and legends that haunt the human mind. Each week, we will take you into a journey exploring the mysteries of the world, tackling the tales of monsters, folklore, the paranormal, and that thing that definitely lives under your bed. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and I was trying to think of one of my MMO names, but none of them were very good. No, all of you. Well, I, I, think uh, I had Noel Vermillion. We, uh, you did. I remember I you. Did. Had I don't know how I got that. I don't know how I got that name on we, a popular like Terra server. We which streamlined is like, our usernames. Ah, oh, Terra was fun too. It was. I don't. 
I now that I've mentioned Tara, I don't want to talk about Tara because Tara's we, bad memories. We, we we cannot talk about Tara. But I was no, I did I did get a hold of Noel Vermillion. Mm. And what? if my if my username if that account hasn't been like pruned and the names have been released, I still have rights to uh Noel Vermillion, I think Tau Kaka and Novus Orvis Librarium as a guild name on a Terra server. Damn. So my, my current um RuneScape character name is called Fodor. And yes, He's named after Nandor Fodor because I started play, made the account like right after we recorded that episode, which was like the one of the spooky times, the the spooky times house. <sighs> so this week's creature is humanoid in appearance. It roams Indiana. It was first seen in the seventies, and uh, I, I, it really wasn't seen uh, after the the I'll call it a flap. Because you like saying flap. Uh, my cousin Carl. Your do you actually have a cousin named Carl? I might. I have a huge family, Brandon. Like, and and the criteria for someone being a cousin is like so loose. Is it? Well, that's true. Or it is. It is. Or an uncle. Or an uncle. Or aunt. Because uncles and aunts are also, if other people's families are like mine, you find out later, just friends of your parents. <laughs> Mine's not like that because I have so many aunts and uncles, like actual biological aunts and uncles. Like, I think my mom has had like eight siblings at some point. What? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... Uh, All right. John's John's counting on his hands. If anyone's wondering what the. the, 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 I I can think of off the top of my head at least eight people. Oh dang! That's and that's that's like, I know I'm missing people from that count. Dang, that's a lot of aunts and uncles. Yeah, I don't talk to any of. I talk to one of them. <laughs> Two of the uh, three of them are like permanently estranged. At least two are dead. You know, <laughs> normal stuff. Normal. Yeah. You worked. You worked with one of my aunts. Uh. Uh, one of my aunt's husbands. One of your aunt's husband was that you when reckon- Stone Ridge? Yeah, and you recognized him before I did when we encountered him in Target. <laughs> um, and you're like, yeah, his wife just died, and then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Although to be fair, he didn't recognize me either. So, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, he. He's retired now. I, I assumed as much. Yeah. He was close to retirement age then. So yeah, no, I know, I know who you're talking about. He's retired. He, the last thing I heard, and this was a while ago, was was um, I think beekeeping for as a hobby. Got that apiary. Got that apiary. Um. Oh, but I yeah. So that just retired. That I I wish he didn't retire. I worked with the guy. He retired, but he also owned an apiary, and he made so much honey he would sell it to, um, Keegan Ales. For to for them to make their beer, but also when it was honey season, he you could just buy. He his truck was just he'd drive a truck filled with honey to work and just be like, "Hey, if you want honey, let me know." And like you just get so much like nice fresh local honey, honey drugs. Um, honey drugs. I want to point out we're at eighteen minutes and oh, I still shit. don't know what this cryptid is. Yeah, so we're talking about the <laughs> Mel Race monster. But I should probably put a disclaimer out front when I edit this episode. Like, hey, just skip to twenty minutes. <laughs> If you want to hear anything. Damn, okay. <clears throat> well, well, what happened was I made the mistake of getting you to talk about RuneScape. Yeah. 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 RuneScape and World of Warcraft are like your two black holes. If you get talking about events in them, you just don't come out of it. Yeah. Uh, so we're talking about the Mill Race Monster, and that is located in the lower center section of Indiana is Mill Race Park. A park with lots of nice rivers and streams, and as one trip advisor review states, barbecue grills nice in the, nice in the winter of 1974 there were sightings of something in mill race park that sparked a flap of newspaper articles and a hunt for the creature in question it was november 9th eight days after the sighting why are you getting so close to the camera what the fuck am i looking at oh did you find the picture <laughs> i found a picture 
Yeah. Okay, continue, continue. All right, yeah. <laughs> I just, my screen, fill, I actually have two you on two different screens, so I had two Johns just leaning very close to me. I, uh, I probably should have actually used, like, you know, the functions that computers have to make it so you could see things better. I'm an old man. No, you're not. I work with a person that holds a magnifying glass up to their computer screen when they can't read a Word document. Well, that's just common sense. I've showed them multiple different ways to I, the control and scroll forward the plus symbol on the corner of the screen i showed this individual so many ways to make things bigger and they still hold a magnifying glass up to a monitor and there's another person who will borrow it so they can do the exact same thing Ugh. so eight days after the sighting that the indianapolis star published an article entitled monstrous thing at columbus green harry scares cats that's it is, just me yeah, it is a on, Shrek. That it is just a Shrek. Yeah. Um, it goes on stating that a hairy green monster is roaming the west side of Columbus, scaring cats and women and hiding in the woods near Mill Race Park. Police and a dog catcher believe the monster is a man wearing green blankets and a green mask, enjoying a frolic in balmy Indian summer weather uh, and by the light of the harvest moon. So the, the image that I saw is this one here. Yeah. Um... I don't know how to describe this, but it's like a man in a Snuggie running, and he's got both feet off the ground because he's like a Hanna-Barbera cartoon yeah. character, I would... and he's got one of the masks from Halloween 2. I would say maybe like the old school black and white Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, Mr. That's... Hyde was running, and he ran through a clothesline that had a sheet hanging on it. Yeah, but like... Uh, this is a very specific look because he's definitely, definitely channeling that snuggy or slanket energy. I'm not exactly sure which it is. It this is. It's not a good image. So I can't tell you if it's a snuggy or slanket. But and it's one of the two. His, his, the way he's running, and I don't know why, he's running like he's spotted someone and he wants to tickle their feet while they're taking a nap. I'm going to tickle you. He's going he to tickle somebody. Um, so but large groups of armed persons are roaming the park along the east side of the White River's headwaters in search of the monster. Police are worried that one of the hunters will shoot another monster hunter <laughs> or learn that the beast they have slain is really a man. That's a that's honestly the biggest risk of any cryptid ever. I, I know is. we've mentioned this a lot, but like that is the real risk. <laughs> That is why Bigfoot is, you're not allowed to hunt Bigfoot legally, is because they are afraid you're going to find out that you didn't just kill Bigfoot. Um, isn't there also a place that was trying to initiate Bigfoot hunting season? Yeah, this year, and it's such a dangerous and bad idea. So, I, I think uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, Oklahoma the, the may seem was... heaven. It. it was Oklahoma. It was Oklahoma, and he, he, if I remember co correctly, he stated that he wanted... He wanted to encourage, like, more tourism. Yep. So he wants... Here's what it is. They want, oh, want my strangers God. Uh, who, strangers who are not familiar with the area to go into woods they don't know with a gun to try to hunt things that look like humans. Like, that's the craziest fucking idea. <laughs> All right. So this is a direct quote from CNN. Um, it's reporting... It's It's by Oklahoma State Rep... Justin Humphrey, and he has a 10-gallon hat type thing, like a cowboy hat. Yeah. Um, Tourism is one of the biggest attractions we have in my house district, Humphrey said. Establishing an actual hunting season and issuing licenses for people who want to hunt Bigfoot will just draw more people to our already beautiful part of the state. It'll be a great way for people to enjoy our area and have some fun. That's... Again, the overall go goal is to get people to our area to enjoy the natural beauty and have a great time, Humphrey said. And if they find a Bigfoot while they're at it, well, hey, that's just an even bigger prize. There's, it's the, the worst idea, like, how do we generate more revenue for our district? I know, invite strangers with guns. That's the worst idea. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of thing that would actually also get someone, uh, uh, like, arrested for real, too. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, man. So dubbed the hairy green monster of Mill Rock Park, it has been spotted four times in the last eight days. It left, quote, paw marks on the hood of a car about 10.30 p.m. November 1st and frightened six young women at the park before it disappeared into the woods near uh, where the driftwood and flat rock rivers meet from the east fork of the White River. Some believe the monster hides in a lagoon at the mouth of the flat rock. Others believe... It ha- has a lair in the dense woods by the park. Several so, per- yeah. So can I just say that it's weird that a town in Indiana, a place in Indiana named a river Driftwood? Yeah. Is I mean, uh, obviously there's going to be Driftwood, but why would you name the river Driftwood? Hey, hey, look. There's, there's wood drifting in this river. Let's name it Driftwood, guys. That's... All of the rivers in Indiana, but they just name it after the first thing they see. Don't forget, I they've mean, got they've got a place Flat called Rock. Flat Rock. They've got a place called Whitewater. They've got a place called Driftwood. They're naming it after things they see. So then, what happened to get the place be named Mill Race? It was probably an actual mill somewhere. Like there was probably it's, an and, actual mill, and they had a race. And then, yeah, there's a there's. Bobby raced Jane from his mill to her mill and whoever got there. And then they named it after that race between the two people. It's nuts. And then where they fucked is where the uh, the, the city hall went in. <laughs> when they yes. met in the middle. <laughs> you've got you got Flat Rock, Driftwood. You've got Cum Spot. You've got... Uh... <laughs> And then you've got one spot called Whoops. We don't talk about Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Tony's shithole. Yeah, there's Tony's shithole. <laughs> What's Tony's shithole? Oh, it's a really great restaurant. Um, but it does sit on the former site of Tony's shithole. Yeah. <laughs> Tony has nothing to do with the restaurant. This is a separate person. The guy who owns the restaurant, his name is um, Alex. He's yeah. a great guy great guy never met tony really confused as to why we call it tony it's shithole. alex is tony's shithole which you think that's a crazy name but don't forget there's a real place called ruth's chris that was just a place called chris and then someone named ruth bought it and called it ruth's chris that's awful um several persons got a fleeting glimpse at the monster tuesday night and again Thursday. About 9 a.m. yesterday, the 8th, the Columbus City dog catcher Rick Ducksworth, 20, and John Brown, 19, said they saw the monster. I, that's that's such a great combination of names. So, like, it Rick is Duckworth really good... is, like, is like a, a unique name, right? And then you have John Brown. Rick Duckworth so, sounds like a crazy entrepreneur, and John Brown sounds like... I don't know, like the guy. He sounds. He John Brown sounds like he's suspiciously normal. Like he yeah. he'd make a good spy. I, I think. I think though, because John Brown one is younger and two has a boring name, he was hellishly eccentric in comparison to Rick Duckworth. Oh, he adopted a funny walk. Yeah, he had he a ferret. Maybe, probably he, he. Oh, he for sure had a ferret. He had a ferret that had a trilby of its own. The ferret had its own trilby. He had an eccentric walk that he thought made him stand out, but made others afraid to ask him if he was in an accident once. <laughs> the, the, uh, somebody from Monty Python saw him and uh, filed a suit because he was copying their bit. He has a cane, but he doesn't use it right because he doesn't actually know how to use a cane. Because mm-hmm. he doesn't need it. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he invented eating a hamburger, but without the bun. Did he do the two lettuces? Yeah, they just did the lettuces instead. The lettuce wrap. I uh, say that I'm friends with someone who does that. Yeah, I've done it. It's not bad if you're trying to cut carbs. Uh, they had been dispatched to the park to rescue two cats high up in a tree. While Aww. studying ways to rescue the cats, Duckworth and Wait. Brown. Yeah. So here's a thing that confuses me. Why send the dog catcher to get cats? No, why do people think that they need to save a cat from a tree? I don't know, because they'll just come down eventually. Yeah, like, cats are fine. 
they have non-lethal terminal velocities. <laughs> if a cat got somewhere, they can get down from it. They're just being lazy shits. Yeah. That's literally it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't understand why you're deploying people to rescue cats from a tree. Like, listen, I will fucking do, I will kill a man to protect my cat. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, I don't see the point of getting a cat they, down from a tree. They don't need it, to be rescued from trees and my... My cats, while they don't climb trees, go into a garage that they shouldn't be in. And if I need to, like, quote, rescue the cat from the garage, what you do is you open the bag that the kibble lives in, and then they will come. Oh, yeah, no. You just kind of shake a bag of kibble, and cats will come. Even if they're an outdoor cat, they learn. They know. Oh, yeah. They know the kibble sound. They know the kibble sound. Even I've had strangers' cats in my garage, because that's where I do keep the kibble. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's just interesting mowing the lawn and seeing a strange cat in your garage. They know where the kibble is. They're they're not smart. They're clever. <laughs> that is very true. That is that is what I'll say about cats. They're not intelligent. No. They're clever. While studying ways to rescue the cats, Duckworth and Brown said they'd seen the monster standing about 200 feet away. When Duckworth started towards the monster, the beast took off, quote, as fast as a deer into disappeared into the woods. Brandon, the is, monster... it just, is, it yep. just a, is it just like a, a trench coat filled with cats? It is a trench coat filled with cats. What's the cat? Um, the cat the cat from D&D, the D&D cat race. Tabaxi. It's a tabaxi in a trench coat. <laughs> with, the, with the monster gone, the two mean, uh, mean, the two men, let me correct that spelling error, obtained a ladder and lowered the two cats to the ground. As soon as they hit the ground, the two cats off, uh, quote, like bolts of lightning, with one, See? Dis- with one disappearing into the distance and the other running Wait. into a sewer line, said Duckworth. Wait, the, the cats did not need to be taken down. No, First they, they were scared because two weirdos they don't know took them and they just ran for their lives. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Two weirdos they don't know picked them up. Yeah. It's not it's not it's not that they're afraid of the tabaxi rogue over in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> right? They're they're afraid of these two weirdos. And there's no reality in which the mill race monster is not a cat monster to me now. I I know that it's not. Yeah. But uh, now I want this to be true. I'm going There's... to to I'm going to topa this energy into the world. To, to topa the Milrice monster back into existence as a tabaxi we... in a trench coat. One of these days, I'm going to have to cover the topa, or one of us is going to have to the co- cover the topa and acknowledge the fact that it's just a white lady's thing. Yeah. Like the the version of topa that we know today is just a white lady appropriating uh, Tibetan yeah. mysticism. Mm-hmm. Like, because, like, it has a different meaning to people who actually, like, are from that tradition. And then white people white people all over it. We white people it. We we, uh, we put a little bit of mayonnaise on it, made it our own. Oh, yeah, no. We we absolutely... that We may... Uh, the, the topa that you know... And maybe love, which probably don't love a tulpa. It's probably not good for your health. Um, is absolutely the uh, <laughs> the mayo slathered uh, <laughs> solution to the problem. Yeah. It's the Taco Bell of Mexican food. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, it's the Taco Bell. It's the Taco Bell of the cryptozoological world. It is. <laughs> It's uh, a Taco Bell of the cryptozoological world. Yeah, it's one <laughs> of the many Taco Bells. Uh, he did say that if he spots the monster again, he will shoot him with a tranquilizer gun he carries to catch dogs, which makes him top pick for the Cougar Island's head of security. No, Duckworth is not going to be allowed near it. Well, also, Duckworth is bad at his job. Keep that in mind. Yeah, so Duckworth is, is bad at his job. But here's the next thing. Duckworth believes the monster is a man. So he's willing to track a man. <laughs> he's the perfect pick. 
<laughs> he believes the monster is a man wearing a green mask and green blankets. He said the monster is six feet tall, maybe even taller, and has a large frame with long reddish hair that hangs on its face. So are we... Okay. Brandon. Brandon. Is this just Shrek with hair? It might because be Shrek just is Scottish. Shrek, with hair. Shrek is a Scottish ogre. That if is. Shrek had hair, it would probably be red. Brandon. Yeah. Brandon, it's this not a young rogue. It is literally just Shrek. It is it's Shrek when he had hair. It's young Shrek. It's young Shrek. It's Shrek when he was having that phase where he was growing his hair out. Yeah. I'm not going to Google it, but whenever Shrek came out, minus that time to 1974, it might actually, the age might work out. How, when was, when was, when was uh, Michael Myers born? We'll use Michael Myers. How old is Michael Myers? Uh, he first appears. That's not. That's, that's not the right. That's Michael not Myers. the right Michael Myers. It's Mike. Mike Myers is the one. He was born in '57. When was this? When was '74? '74. So three, four, seven, seventeen. It checks out. Yeah, <laughs> it checks out. The math works. <laughs> He said the monster left no footprints because the ground is heavily covered with leaves. People who have sighted the monster are saying that it is not a figment of their imagination. Not too long after the monster article came out, another uh, was issued titled Mill Race Monster Hunt Out of Hand. Uh, I mean, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, <laughs> th that's the vein that I, I, I chose to go down and also what most of the articles are about. Like, like probably right like yeah probably warnings to to would-be hunters of the so-called mill race monster and that's how the article wrote it it put so-called and like quotes around shit uh were issued today by police and the city park director robert gilligan uh after a night in which authorities counted dozens of individuals in cars and on foot searching the park at West End and 5th Street along the river. Have you noticed how, like, this is how things went in the 70s for, like, whenever a monster showed up? Like, Murfreesboro Mud Monster, like, a similar thing happened, right? I think people just like, had free time. Like, maybe, well, because they didn't have, they didn't have, like, they had prime time and that was it. They didn't have no Netflix. They didn't have WandaVision. They didn't have WandaVision. They didn't have WandaVision. They had some of the shows that WandaVision was based on. Yeah. Like the Brady Bunch. Like, what's that? Episode three, I want to yeah, say? Yeah, maybe maybe Brady Bunch. Not a spoiler, by the way. We, we no, promised... that's in the trailer. That's in the trailer. Yeah. Like, uh, so, Some were armed with knives. A One spoiler would be. No. No. <laughs> Some were armed with knives and one carried a club and authorities fear the prankster who dresses as a monster may get hurt if the hunters, also put in quotes, don't first hurt themselves or one another. I will say this. Don't put hunters in quotes because they are literally hunters. Yeah. They're not good hunters, but they are hunters. They are. Like, <laughs> taxonomically speaking, they're, they are hunters. They're performing the act of hunting. They are performing the act of hunting, and by the strictest definition of hunter, they are, in fact, hunters. Yes. Gilligan said that it may become necessary to close the park to the public at night. Not because Probably. of the monster, but because of the public. 28 cars were counted at the park at 11 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, That's a lot for a Midwest town. That's a lot for a Midwest town. That's a lot for Kingston. That's a lot, and it's just starting. <laughs> As written, the article seemed to imply that no one in the local government thinks the monster is real, but that the locals themselves do and are turning up in numbers to the point where the officials are worried they might hurt each other. The next article, uh, written uh, a couple days later, says no weekend monster sightings, or no, no weekend monster sightings. So, today's situation on Millrace Park Green Monster shows no reported sightings of the Green Monster over the weekend. Millrace Park grounds are to remain barricaded and closed from dusk till dawn to protect the monster's public. The Columbus Police Department have established a monster hunter control officer. Wait, wait. So to protect the monster's public? 
the public who are hunting the monster. I, I I I like the idea of it being to protect the monsters from the public. Like, <laughs> no, guys, guys, like, like, give him a break. Yeah, like, right? It's... He's got he's all he has are ear candles, and when I say ear candles, I mean candles he literally made from earwax, not those yeah. ones that you put in your ear that do nothing. Like, it's all he's got. He's got like some weird slug things, guys. Like. Come on, give him a break. Just cut him some slack. Cut him some slack. He has a weird relationship with a donkey that we don't talk about. Yeah, and some some chick kind of keep has been hanging around him a lot. It's it's a weird situation. <gasps> Puss in Boots, the dog catcher scared away Puss in Boots. Oh well, Puss in Boots has a girlfriend in the Puss in Boots movie. I never saw the Puss in Boots movie. I didn't either because I'm I was an adult when that came out. Yeah. And that was not aimed at me. Adults, yeah. In any so, way, shape, or form. Yeah. So, the, the, so the, the, I, I also want to point out that they barricaded, it got so bad they barricaded the park, they established a monster hunter control officer, so they made a guy in charge of, like, keeping people away from the park. Does he does he make sure, does he make sure that people uh, use the correct items against the correct bosses? In Monster he does. Hunter, because like does. like the correct weapon is very important. You have to use the right weapon for the job. Like you do. Let's that game was good. That, yeah, it was good. It was, it was a good game. It had cute things. Friday night, a hundred and thirty-five cars were turned away from the park. Now keep in mind, each car may have had multiple people, so you've got hundreds of people showing up to this park now. Uh, Saturday You're, night, yeah, yeah. 60 cars were turned away Sunday 30. So it's dying down over over the weekend. That's what you think. Yeah. The cars are just becoming more packed. Yeah. And they're uh, condensing. They are condensing. <laughs> Officials at the the barricade did not see the monster. At this well, point, yeah, cuz they're at the barricade. Yeah. Obviously, the monster's deeper in. Come on, guys. There's they're in the low level monsters. That's all squirrels. You got to go deeper He's... and then you get to the higher level monsters. Yeah. You... The, the, the barricade needs to be far away to not hear the donkey praying. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The, at this point, literally hundreds of cars were hunting the monster and the city barricade uh, had, uh, had to make a barricade to keep people away. The article started being published by annoyed, presumably parents, um, titled things like Ignore the Monster and It Will Go Away and mostly about being annoyed that they have nowhere to go with their kids anymore because they don't want someone with a knife around. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, like there were lots of articles that were like, Ignore the Monster, It'll Go Away, and like, we just want to go there with our kids, but we can't because you assholes are there. Like, Guys, <laughs> stop. Stop. They, like, it's a children's cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> Like, just, uh, there were so many articles of people being like, please go back to normal. Um, stop buying Pokemon cards. I, my kid wants to play the card game. You guys aren't even opening the packs. Yeah. <laughs> you goddamn uh, assholes. Did you see? Did you see that fucking scalpers bought out, like, all of the McDonald's, like, Happy Meal toys? I did see that. <laughs> like, they should like just establish a limit, like no more than like two, but, three happy meals. Have you seen the cards? By the way, they're like not even that good. No, I haven't. They're not even that good looking, and like from a gameplay perspective, they're functionally worthless. They're so just like, unique. it's shit that I'd love if I was a kid, but as an adult, I would be like, that's not going to help my my like my deck. Also, it's like for kids, yeah. That's what it's for. A Happy Meal is not for adults. Listen, I'll get a Happy Meal sometimes if they have a cool toy, but I'm not going to buy all of them. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's just shitty. And it, then it, usually I'll give the toy to my niece or nephew. Yeah. If I enjoy, like, because the enjoyment that I'll get out of a Happy Meal toy is about three seconds of novelty. Yeah. Fuck people. And then your cat loses it under the dude, couch. Dude, I saw... Okay, so I had to go... I went to the mall to pick something up. And my target is in the mall. Right? Yeah. Our Your target is too. 
Our, um, our mall is just a target, more basically. It is just a target at this point. It's um, a target and a Dix, and that's it. Yeah, then there's like some vestigial stuff attached to it. There once, in the before times, was a, a pretty cool movie theater. In the before times, I did like that movie theater a lot. That was a nice movie theater. Um, but anyways, I, I was in Target, and I was looking at the Transformer stuff, because that's what I do. There's some exclusives that are coming out, and like I'm keeping an eye out. And I hear like a, a crowd of people excitedly explain, exclaiming. I turn the corner, and there's three people crowded around the Pokemon cards, and I'm like, oh man, I gotta get this, I gotta get this. And it's like, they already have like handfuls of bags from Target. And when I say handfuls of bags, I mean like five discrete bags filled with Pokemon product. Damn. And I'm just like, and they're not like, it's just cards. It is just cards from the new, like I think the set's called Shining Fates. Yeah. Filled. Filled with Pokemon cards. And I'm like, wow, these guys are kind of whatever, right? Like, I'm like, whatever, whatever. So, John, I do want to point out, so we we never purchased bags full of cards, but they, we definitely bought cards and opened them in the mall. <laughs> yes, but that's different. That's different. And the reason that's different is because these people are buying all of the product. Uh, yeah. I literally couldn't find any of the 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 shining fates product because i was curious at that point all of it was gone they had strip mined the entire target store and not only that i rounded a corner and i saw a crowd of about nine people all hands filled with target bags filled with pokemon cards damn stop being assholes people yeah (laughs) <laughs> that's this fair is, this has been my soapbox where i'm mad at people who don't understand how uh unlimited print run product works yeah because they're not gonna stop printing it until the demand's gone yeah that's all yeah that's all you could probably also just order it yeah, I'm calling that all. That's actually not true because the demand's so high right now. Oh. So, like, the first release kind of got eight up. But, like, ah. it'll be there. And not only that, but here's my biggest problem. This this is this is my, my thing. Me ranting about people who don't understand collector markets. Um, My biggest problem is the Pokemon trading card game is not even playable right now because COVID-19 is still a thing, you fuck faces (laughs) that's true that's it that's all i got i I, i'm done i'm just i'm just mad that's all i'm mad i'm mad you know what would be so funny like they're going nuts trying to buy all those cards but by the time everybody like can go out again and get in the shots and the such it'd be really funny if that wasn't the active set anymore oh it's gonna rotate out of pokey standard yeah. Like, that's going to happen. Probably sooner than later. I think it's close to a Poke Standard cycle. So, yeah. like... It'd be really great if it got rotated out of Standard before anybody could actually use oh, them. it's gonna get rotated out of Poke Standard, and that's gonna be fucking hilarious. <laughs> but, regardless, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mentioning kids brought this back up in me, and, like, I couldn't tamp it down, because, like, yeah. I just, I can't wrap my head around it yeah i don't know anywho also choose magic the gathering over pokemon no they're, they're making bad decisions. don't do that either don't do that either just don't play card games they're all terrible that is actually true and as time went on the sightings die down and that is until election day in an article titled mill race monster makes appearance after voting I mean, yeah, he he's a, he has a civic duty. He does have a civic duty. The Mill Race monster has returned, apparently stepping out of the shadows Tuesday long enough to scare two parkgoers and possibly cast a vote in the elections. The county police reported that two men in their 20s 
saw a large hairy thing hiding behind trees near the covered bridge at about 4 p.m. And again, shortly before midnight. Yeah, I'll show you a large hairy thing. Uh, When two men did not give police their names said uh, after seeing the monster Tuesday afternoon, they returned with their binoculars that evening for a closer look. Yeah, I'm sure they did. They told the police that the monster was found and eventually chased them from the park. I mean, I would too if I was being spied on by binocular boys. Yeah, that that's probably a good decision. Uh, one of the men suggested an explanation for the newly found monster was that it had been left there... Uh, in early fall by visitors from another planet. This is the there's only one. There's always one. There's, there's, always, always, one. there's the, always one person. There's always one person. And this is, by the way, the only reference to it being from outer space that I found. So that is the one guy. That's the guy. Mm-hmm. Listen, what if, what if, aliens? What if Shrek was an alien? Then we'll tie it right back into our lore for, for the Mill Race monster. We know that Shrek isn't an alien because of Shrek uh, 4, or is it Shrek the 3rd? The one with Rumpelstiltskin. There's a whole oh, race I of I don't ogres. think I saw that. Yeah. I stopped after Shrek 2. That's probably the correct place to stop. Yeah. Uh, in Shrek the 3rd, he has kids. Yeah, it's Shrek 4. Shrek 4? Shrek th- in Shrek 3, he gets kids. And then Shrek 4, um, he gets... He like wish he trades a day for something, yeah. and um, Rumpled Silson takes the day that he like fell in he he met he was born or something like that. Yeah, which is a spoiler for a movie no one watched, but whatever. Yeah, so let's yeah at the Columbus uh at the time Columbus and much of the Midwest had been flooded by sightings of unidentified flying objects. So there's a huge UFO flap going around at this time. So he probably just threw that out there because he'd seen it in a newspaper article. Um, Now for some follow-up, Monsters and Mysteries in America did an episode in 2015 where they interviewed one of the girls that was in the car that that got scared roughly 41 years after the event. Tyra Cadline said it was just a typical evening shortly after Halloween and we decided to... uh, to go and take our dinner down to the park and eat it and talk. And uh, we were just starting out into the dark woods. Um, Which sounds to me like some kids just wanted to go partake in the devil's lettuce and have some snacks. And by dinner, she meant... At least the devil's lettuce. Exactly. It's the 70s, so at least the devil's lettuce. Um, By dinner, she meant some unnamed burger joint, which to me means McDonald's because they didn't want to say the brand name of it on the TV episode. Uh, Mm -hmm. And if the reenactment is close to the event, they were also coming from a party. I'm sure they were coming. I'm sure they were coming. Uh, She continued, out from the woods comes this thing, had to be seven feet tall, if not taller. It was taller than a normal man. Um, Which means Ben Kissel smelt it and came over. He smelt the burgers. Ben Kissel. We we have maligned that man so much on this show. he, He smelt the devil's lettuce and came wandering out of the woods. I was, I, I mean, they, it's not like it's a Bud Light Lime. Yeah. Like, if, if it was a Bud Light Lime, this would have been Southern Bigfoot territory. Oh, it, for sure. <laughs> um, it was beating the windshield, trying to get in, and we were screaming, who wouldn't be screaming? That's we, fair. We thought Honestly, we were going to die. That's like, a fair reaction. He's, like, he's, he's ruining your high. Like... <laughs> If anyone ever slammed on my windshield, it could be a three foot tall person. I'd be terrified for my life. Oh yeah, right. Like if if a dwarf walked up, actually, I think I might be more scared if a dwarf came up and started slamming on my windscreen because that dwarf has got a mission. Yeah, right. Like a seven foot guy, like you know, that'd be scary, but like not not as scary as somebody who like you tower over coming up and attacking you it's like it's like a uh hyena attacking a lion in some ways yeah right that hyena's got balls or a vulva of steel it's got its genitals it has genitals of steel have a very high rockwell rating yes those are some jennies of steel yeah they jennied up jennied the fuck up so like (laughs) 
regardless of what's hitting my car or slamming on my car, I'd be terrified. Yeah. And like, like, I might die. There's oh, we will all die eventually. No. 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 We're all on the slow march of death. No, I'm not. Oh, I ignore shit. that. I prefer. I pretend that doesn't exist. That's my secret. Yeah. So I just remembered I was thirty. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot to make a joke about that. <laughs> oh, do you? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, must suck to not be on the media uh, 30 under 30 uh, media luminaries list now. And be yeah, I can no longer get on that list. Cut of it. Yeah. You still got uh, the 50 under 50. Uh, yeah. FinTech, I think. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I should just end it all now. I mean, that's... That's the Gus. That's the Gus method for saving for that is retirement. The Gus method. He didn't. He didn't deliver though. He no no he, he did. He failed no. to deliver. Well, he's, he's still got his dog. I'm sure once his dog ages out. Well, he's still got his wife too. Yeah, but she doesn't. She doesn't like the behind the ear scratches as much. That's what you think. <laughs> maybe yeah. Maybe she does. Uh, she continues. Uh, we've got to get out of here, but the driver's leg was shaking so badly she couldn't get the car started. There was a greenish tinge. What? To- <laughs> there was a greenish tinge to him. Oh, the although face. I guess I guess this would be this would be a manual transmission. So like, maybe she couldn't like pop the clutch properly, or like or something scared like that. stiff, or like yeah. she's she's like trying too hard to work the stick shift, shift. And, yeah. and and it's not going doing the things. Um, I don't know if it had uh, been in the river, but it had moss on it because there was so much slime on its face. Uh, it did have fangs, and he was trying to bite through the glass. Uh, I was afraid he was going to tear the door off. Nothing has ever scared me as much as that. Time traveling man on bath salts. Got it. Time traveling man on bath salts. This is not far away from what I really think it is. <laughs> okay. Uh,. We were just uh, glad to get out of there with our lives because this is just the most horrible thing you ever saw. Then, according her, to her, they drove straight to the police station. Good that is call. a good call. That good is a call. very good call. Um, they were apparently ribbed a bit by the cops who didn't take them seriously. and They were like, oh, monster. Ooh. Um, but there was some form of evidence that the creature was rubbing its body all over the car. Tyra said the car stunk on the outside so bad it was like decomposed animals. I don't know what else to describe it. The police did eventually go to the park, but they didn't find anything. And as a side note, I did find Tyra's Facebook and YouTube channel. She likes Orange is the New Black and dogs. And she's currently a police dispatcher and has 21 friends on Facebook and seems like a very normal old lady. She doesn't post all the time about like weird monster shit. Like, she's just a real person. Because I did also want to verify she's not, like, doing this for, like, media attention or whatever. And it, she she's not. I, I'm going to say this, Brandon. Slightly creepy. But, like, it's... I, I think the slightly creepy thing is you have her... You, you are giving away her Facebook detail. I mean, they're public information, but, like... It's, it's public the, information. And if you watch the Monsters in America episode and then Google her name, those are that's what comes up. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't, like, do a deep dive. I was just like, I wonder if I can find her and see what her deal is. And then I found her, and her deal is not monster stuff. See, my problem, I have to stop myself from doing that, because I will do deep dives. There's oh, I'm I've not, done deep I'm not, dives in the past, and I, I probably would have looked harder if she wasn't I'm such not, an easy result. I'm not proud of it, Brandon. <laughs> I'm not proud of yeah. it, but I do have some light doxing abilities. Yeah, <laughs> because of my history. Yeah, that I was just trying to make sure she wasn't uh, someone that's trying to make money off of it, and she's she's not. She's normal. Like, there's literally just a video of her bopping her head to the orange is the new black song. That's kind of cute. Yeah, like it, it's and it's just like pictures of her dog. Like it, it's, I can relate. Like it's nice stuff. Like she, it's th- that's all relatable content. I'll say this all. Yeah, she is, she puts out relatable content. Um, in the same episode, a newspaper editor who worked at the time uh, of the sightings went into how some police reports were written describing it as a Bigfoot and with green scaly things growing off of it, stating that the newspapers were fueling the hunts for the monster uh, hunting mobs. Wow, <laughs> that's never the first time that's happened. 
that, that, that's never that's the happened first time that's ever, ever happened yeah that's, yeah that's never happened before never ever in a million years have that has that happened before yeah something uh interesting that tyra said on the episode is that there was a dye factory in the area that had been dumping dyes into the river um so i want the narrative to be that a drunk guy not far because it it's not far from halloween and there was a drunk guy fell into a river that was dyed green and mm-hmm. perhaps had a mask on because he was drunk and masks are fun fell into a river the stinky laden with green dye got madder than hell about it and then just charged at a car full of young girls who were smoking marijuana <laughs> and enjoying fast food and just trying to get ripped out of their minds that's what i think is most likely what happened that's probably the rep- what happened <laughs> Reports are saying that it's a guy with a mask and also green. And there's a dye factory. And he, I think he is like some guy probably fell into a river and just got madder than hell. And that accounts for like the sliminess, the bad smells, the greenness. It's just green, man. Yeah, it's just like the river describes most of the monster and the fact it's not far from Halloween describes the rest of the monster. Yeah. No, it sounds like a late Halloween party. Yeah, it sounds like a late Halloween party. And somebody really fell does. into a river. It really sounds like a late Halloween party. When was it? November? It was November. Yeah, like early November? Or was, did they have a specific date? Sometime? Yeah, they, I think uh, they somewhere. November it's, 1st. Yeah, November 1st. November 1st. So, like, and it, not... So, okay, so here's Halloween the thing. would have been on a weekday, so it's the weekend. Yeah. So someone is probably having a Halloween party in the park. Yeah, like, like around 10 p.m., 10.30 p.m. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, I couldn't, we couldn't do our Halloween party. Let's do it on Saturday in the park. Yeah. Like, I really think just some guy fell in the river and got mad and hit a car. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if it was just, like, it was their friend the whole time? It could have been. And, something. like, they had come from the party and the guy was, like like, trying to catch up with them. And, like, he fell into a river, and it was like, guys, guys! And then he forgot because he was blackout drunk. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, like... <laughs> like, I, I, I really do think that a guy falling in a river and just, like, ma- waving his arm, like, something, and then also they were high. Probably. They didn't say that, but probably. Like sparked one of the largest monster hunts in American history. And I well, also heavily suspect that that monster hunt may have started because it was six girls who were, like, coming from a party, got scared, and then probably guys being like, if I impress them and I'll show, I'll protect them, and then they'll like me, and then maybe they'll touch my penis. So I think it probably started initially with a lot of dudes of their same age doing that, and then the newspaper started printing articles, and that's oh, when yeah, all no. the other normies like came in. Oh, that's that's a hundred percent. Like I really think, like a Most... guy fell into a river, scared some girls, and a bunch of guys wanted to get dick touches, so they ran into the woods, and then Most... that made newspapers write an article, and then all of the rest of the town showed up. Most of human history can be distilled into some dude wanted to get his penis touched. Yeah. Like, like most, not, if not most, most human history that involves a man can be devolved into, I want to get my penis touched in some way. I wouldn't own a shirt with buttons if I, if, if it wasn't for that. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I wouldn't have cologne. Yeah, like, when there's no cologne, I don't have anything with a collar. Um, I wouldn't have nice shoes. I probably, honestly, I probably wouldn't wear anything other than than these really soft sleep pants. My pants would be way more comfortable. Holy crap. Although, that being said, I really like jeans. Like, I just like jeans. I do also like jeans. They're comfortable. They're comfortable. They're oh, It's a comfortable fabric. Working from home, I will say my sweatpants and... I have one pair of sweatpants and one pair of jeans that have been seen a lot of action. Right? There's actually, I'm wearing those sweatpants now. They have barbecue sauce on them from uh, last weekend. <laughs> Brandon, my sweatpants have been stress tested this past yeah. year. <laughs> Let me just say, my sleep pants have gone through the ringer. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, Tyra closes saying that, uh, I know it's real and what I saw is no joke. It was not a person in a costume. I, I really, I really do think it was a person in a costume though. Like legit. It was probably, there was a Halloween party. It's also party. 1030. So Tyra so like, also, it's, yeah, it's like perfect Halloween party time. Um, it's 1030. So like it's 1030 in a park in Indiana. It's yeah. probably not going to have ambient light. Yeah. So, um, it was really something that could move. It could grimace its face. It was growling. It was really aggressive. Again, all things someone that falls into a river does. Uh, <laughs> like, and they literally parked in front of the river. Like, that's... Th- like, uh, So people can think what they want to, but I know what I saw. It was pretty bad. I don't want to think about it too long because it still scares me to this day. It, it, it was like a guy fell... A guy, it was a guy. It was, it was a guy. He fell into the river. Like he like, and again, multiple sightings describe it as like a guy in a costume. It's a Scooby Doo villain. It's a Scooby Doo villain. Oh my god, Brandon! Was there a dog in the car? Because this is a fucking Scooby Doo episode now. No, no. Well, there were six girls in the Brandon. car, so the car was at max capacity. But one may have been dressed up as like a dog. Oh, but Brandon. If if they were getting high, this is literally this is literally Scooby Doo. <laughs> this is literally Scooby Doo. It may be actual this is Scooby Doo. Be fucking do right here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's there's like literally there's a Scooby Doo monster. Uh, the like creeper I think is its name. Literally. Um, Probably. that this Let's could see. be. Scooby Doo creep. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally the creeper. Oh, from Scooby you are Doo. so right. God damn it! It's literally the creeper. It's actually the. Cre- <laughs> That's fantastic. It's, it's actually the creeper. That's so good. There we go. Solved it. Solved it. And it was just a car filled with Vel- Velmas and Daphnes. I typed in Scooby Doo creeper, clicked on images. And the fourth sponsor result was a tank top, uh, the, and, and the 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 f- on Wish that's called Velma Dirty Curvy Nerdy, and it's a picture of Velma removing her shirt, and it says, "I like my girls." Oh yeah, dirty, nerdy, and curvy. I would not buy sexy Wish T-shirt. How did you? What did you search? I just typed in Scooby Doo Creeper, and th- that. On the sponsored uh, line, which is the very first line, that was like the fourth result. So, Brandon, I didn't get that. Um, Okay. That just means we have different cookies, and apparently my cookies are way cooler. Oh, this is like absolutely stolen art, too. Oh, yeah. Like, there's. Listen, I like. Listen, listen. I have I'm trying not to say anything without I, I, Velma I'm, Dinkley can... is right up my alley that's what I was gonna say yeah what's your type Velma oh if she was in New Jersey Brandon like you've seen the people I've in re- I, I have been in relationships with most of them are at least Velma adjacent <laughs> I love, I love that you, you, Velma adjacent. They are though. Yeah, you they can't are. like deny that. Yeah, I have a Velma adjacent type. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Do you like escape rooms? I feel like you should take escape your, room. Your, escape your, rooms kind of piss me off. Go, go to your uh, take your take take your your Velma adjacent adjacent type two in escape room actually there's a really well, nice one in... she actually she actually does probably like escape rooms because she likes puzzles so, so like so what I, I would actually recommend um the i don't think th- there's a place in the palisades mall five wits yeah yeah i that, that I, i've gone there before that's fun oh um so before we close out because we're done with the episode so like if you don't care about all this, you can leave. You won't hurt my feelings much more than they've already been hurt. <laughs> like, 
like there's an actual Scooby Doo, the creeper mask. It would be so meta if the ghost or not the, if the mill race monster was a person wearing a creeper mask. When did the creeper come into exist? What when did that episode air? Uh, let's find out. Scooby Doo creeper episode. Uh, IMD Scooby Doo. October third, nineteen seventy. It was four years. It existed for four years before the event. So it is possible that it was a person in a Dressed creeper costume. Creeper. It's very possible. I I am okay with this reality. This is this the reality is... that I choose to decide exists. Yeah, this is the one that I I'm okay with. Um. Also, unrelated. We're a rural area, and I didn't realize that. Technically, R- rural. Yeah, technically, we are rural, according to like. The definition of r- r- rurality in America. I mean, I have a yard, but it's it's more than 120. It's more than 200 minutes to any uh, nearby city. Or no, it's it's more than like 120 minutes to a nearby city. So technically, we're classified as rural or something like that. But uh, but I be in city. But you not. But Kingston so, not be city. It's called Kingston the city of Kingston. Shitty. Kingston be shitty. Kingston, Kingston be not shitty. be shitty. It's literally called the Kingston, like Kingston. Yeah, K. Yeah, it's the Kingston city, but it's not a city. But they have the word city in like they. It's called not a metropolis. What's a metropolis? Is that like New York city? city, Albany, Los but Angeles, does... Crop... Seattle? Versus, All right, I'm seeing if there's a difference between Maybe metropolis Peyton. and city. There absolutely is. Chief City area. I'd be city. A metropolis is a large city. city. How about how I'd be, be not city? You, you a city is a large town. You're not a you're not a metropolis. You're not. I'm zero minutes from the nearest rural. city. You are technically rural. I'm zero minutes from well, but by by the by the definition a, a definition of rural, you are technically rural. But I'm I'm zero minutes from the city of Kingston. <laughs> Ulster County is the most rural county in this part of New York. Yeah. There. We got some nice yards, though. Fair, but most rural. You know what? I'll, I will accept rural because a neighbor snowblowed my driveway for me when I was at work Friday. Mm-hmm. And I didn't ask for that. So, because the neighbors are friendly, I will accept rural. I don't know if that's how rurality works, but that's okay. I think okay. it is. He was also a very, very old man, and he did everybody's driveway, so I think he was bored. That sounds more correct. I got I got a new shovel. I got yeah. two new shovels. Nice. I got one of them push ones, the ones that you can, like, push. Is it where the stick is bent? Uh, no, no, it's like... It's basically like a sled that has a blade at the end of it. Okay. Um I got And I got one of I got one of those metal ones, mm-hmm. like the mm-hmm. the metal ones because I needed a scraper. Oh. Uh, my stupid ass. First time I use it, I put my foot on it and it bends. <laughs> <laughs> I I I do not like the metal shovels. The 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 tech is the plastic shovel with the metal blade riveted to the bottom of it. And I shattered a I shattered one of my shovels like that. So oh. that's why I bought the metal shovel and because I needed a good scraper. Um god, I can't be- why are we so bad at podcasting? There's I don't know. Here's the thing, we're not good, but we're dedicated. <laughs> we're dedicated. I I honestly that's kind of words to live by for me. <laughs> I'm not good at most things, but I am dedicated to most things yeah. that I do. So, like, like I'm persistent. I'm not yeah. good at it, but I'm persistent. Yeah. I'm not an inherently intelligent person. I just keep at it until I realize how something works. There's, yeah, like, uh, a very common thing that I say at work is someone will ask for uh, uh, or inquire about, like, can I find a solution for a problem? And 
uh, I go, I don't know, but I'll try. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, oh I don't boy, look, sure here I go, kill him again. Out. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> anywho, I guess we should probably end the podcast because we're, we're at that point. And somebody's asking me questions about a project for class. And I got to answer them. Um, ah. So, uh, as always, our website is cryptopediacast.com. Our Instagram and Twitter are at cryptopediacast. Our email is cryptopediacast at gmail.com or us at cryptopediacast.com. We have a transcript that I haven't updated. Maybe I'll find time for it. Um, I, I would don't really think like... you will. You I don't... are slammed. I don't think I will either. Um, but I did run a bunch of it through the transcript app, so there's that. Oh, nice. uh, I need to I need to clean it up because the transcript app app is bad on its own. Well, actually, I should say my voice. There's something about my accent that that transcript app hates. Something that may be possible hates. and probably more work than I am aware of is you can access. You, I saw a YouTube video. It was on the William Osmond channel where he made a voice activated hot dog topping dispenser. And apparently like he wrote a code where it sent pinged the Google API and then it used Google's voice to text thing to recognize the word. So we might It's be a lot the, of work. Yeah, okay, cuz I don't know about things, but they had That's a lot of work. They did, it looks like a child did it, but he's uh, he's just a very young looking individual. That he had. No, I'm Reeves. saying, I'm saying that's a lot of work because I don't want to do it. Oh, that's fair. Oh, I've um, definitely quote. I have quoted things. I, if I don't want to do something, you will get a very different quote than something that I want to do. Oh yeah, no, that's 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 the play. That is absolutely oh, yeah. the play. Um, we have a Patreon. The links in the show notes. Uh, we have Jackalopes. It's my turn to go. So thank you, Clay Sinclair, Marty Von Party, Bird Schneider, Jonathan Shepard, and fuck Andrew Jackson. Uh, we actually got a new hoop snake, I believe. Did we get a new hoop no. snake? Was she a hoop snake? She was either a hoop snake or a jackal. Not a jackalope. What's the third one? We have another hoop. A hodag. Hodag. Yeah. Um, I don't remember which level she was. She wasn't jackalope, but uh, Ellie. Somebody we played games with oh, uh, is a patron yeah. now. Oh shoot! All right. Um, what are they? I'm. Uh, they listen. You're a hoop snake. You get the first one. Yeah. Well, shout out to Ellie. So, Go watch her uh, play play on, the video games. Yeah, she on plays the video games. I think it's Ellie Senpai on. It is Twitch. Ellie Senpai on Twitch. She. I think she's actually streaming right now because I got the notification. That sounds about right. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yes, yes, yes. Let me make sure before okay. we point someone to someone who, like, says terrible things. Uh, well, more ter- more terrible than he- Protecto the ban- Brando. More terrible than Protecto the Brando? I think there's nothing more terrible. Oh, it's, it's Ellie Senpai with a single L. That's why I couldn't find it. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the show plugs. We have a discord. If you enjoy it, rate, review, subscribe wherever you can, because I know a lot of places don't do that anymore. Um, share the podcast if you enjoy it and you don't really want to have friends, those friends anymore. Um, (laughs) if you have any monster requests or stories, if you want your friends to know what John's type is, make them know this podcast. (laughs) It's true. That's true. Uh, let's see. I am on Instagram at donkey underscore hands. My website is boyerb.com. I'm getting a call from unavailable. I am not answering that shit. Um, email is brandon at cryptopediacast.com. And my Twitter is at crypto brandon, capital C, capital B. Um, I'm... I am uh, on Instagram at Mew2057, on Twitter at JF Dunham. My website is johndunhamgames.com, and my email is john at cryptopediacast.com. 
Our art was done by Tom Hill. His Instagram is at Thomas Michael Hill. His website is greatergloryco.com, and his email is tommikehill at gmail.com. Um, before I close out... I just scrolled all the way to the bottom, and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before I close out, uh, just want to, like, give a shout-out to the people in Texas. Um may or may not be able to hear this if they're listening. I know Clay has power back, um, but like... Yeah, uh, shout out to Texas. Yeah, I, thinking about you, um, be safe. So, as we were recording, so my, grand, my, my family in Texas, my grandma yeah. just texted me. She goes, hey there, in, and then stated the city in which I live. Kings, we've said it, it's Kingston. We said um, it so many times. Yeah, see the hi there, kids. And hope all is well. Doing okay here. Just boiling some water for drinking. Very sunny in fifty. Hope to go to church tomorrow. <laughs> Love you, happy. <laughs> oh. So yeah, uh, wish you guys luck. Um, Good luck. I know um, San Antonio. They're on like their power rationing, where it's like nine hours of no power, and then you yeah. get some, and then it's nine hours off. Yeah. So like, here's the thing. Like, uh, regulations important, folks. Yeah, that's it. That's oh. all I'm going to say. So I got a free hard hat. So uh, the water mains burst on in my in the street on which I live in front of my, my neighbor's house. Yeah. So there was no water for a little bit. And I so I just filled a bucket with uh, snow so I could poop. And then um, water eventually came back. And but then I, I was going to. I, why didn't you? Why didn't you just walk to the quick check? Uh. I don't know. Well, because well, I don't want to get co- all COVID-y. I, I mean, I don't know if Fair there's enough. been anyone there with it, but I just assume. Because um, they have... Here's the place. Here's my problem with the... They've got a dining area, so there are just people in there without masks all the time because they just hang out in the dining area and read the they newspaper. A dining area? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't go to that quick check, so... Uh, I go all the time. Well, you um, live next to it. Yeah. It's great. Um... And then somebody left a hard hat, and I was like, uh, and then I, I was driving somewhere, and then Erica called me, and she goes, Brandon, I think we just got a free hard hat. Someone left it. And so I went to get it, and I put it in the garage, so now I own a hard hat that's like a real hard hat. But here's the thing. I have to clean it because it's covered in brown, and that brown might be mud because the water broke, but it might Brandon. also be poop because... Brandon, maybe they left the hard hat for a reason. Because it... I think they took it off because it might have been covered in feces. Yeah. So I've got to clean it now. Oh, I hate everything. But once it's clean, I'll have a hard hat to use when I'm in the workshop. I hate everything. Oh. Yeah, be my new cat. from all that timber falling. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that, that, took, that, that took my thing where I was trying to shout out to the people of Texas and turned it into a poop story. So thanks, Brandon. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, as always, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And things are going to get weird. Oh, my God, Brandon. Why have you done this? <laughs> It wasn't until, yeah, it wasn't until later I was like, oh, it might be poop. I'd instantly assume poop. <laughs>